Chelsea in talks with Thomas Tuchel over new contract. Thomas Tuchel is in discussions with Chelsea over improving his current contract at Stamford Bridge. Earlier this week, there was speculation that Todd Burley had contacted Thomas Tuchel's camp about extending his contract. When he was appointed as Chelsea's manager in 2021, the German was given a relatively short contract which is set to expire in the summer of 2024. Since signing, Tuchel has won the Champions League, Super Cup and Club World Cup. The 48-year-old also weathered the storm during the transfer ban and Roman Abramovich situation, which eventually saw Burley's consortium buy the club. Even since buying the club, the American owner has backed Tuchel and so far, they've had a fairly successful transfer window. Now, it is being reported by the reliable German journalist, Christian Falk, that Chelsea are indeed in negotiations with Tuchel over a new deal. This new deal has been coming for a long time now. Tuchel has got Chelsea back to a position where they can eventually start challenging for the Premier League title. It may not be this season that it happens but with the backing of the owners and the right players the German can make his mark on Chelsea's history even more than he already has. Hopefully this can be wrapped up sooner rather than later as it will help potential transfers in the future. Mashi Batshuyi opens up about his game time at Chelsea. Chelsea's Mashi Batshuyi has spoken about how hard it has been for him to break into the first team since joining. Ever since joining Chelsea from French side Marseille in 2016 for a reported fee of £35 million, Mashi Batshuyi has failed to impress multiple managers. This has resulted in the Belgian forward being sent on loan five separate times over the years. During his time at Stamford Bridge, Batshuyi has played 77 times, scoring 25 times. Not a bad record for someone who never really started. The 28-year-old's contract with the Blues ends at the end of next season. However, if recent reports are to be believed then he could depart early if the right club comes in for him this summer. In a recent interview with Sport Voteball, Batshuyi spoke about how difficult it has been for him and his countryman, Romelu Lukaku, to break into the Chelsea team. I cannot speak without knowing about Romelu, but for me it's very clear, the problem was Diego Costa. At that time, I think there was no player who could have dethroned him. In my second season, while I was having a great pre-season, Murata arrived. So even there it was complicated. But after that, despite that, every time I came on I scored. In fact, it's quite strange to say, but the team was so strong that it was easy to score goals. When you play with certain players, everything becomes easy. Chelsea takes interest in Manchester United target Casemiro. Chelsea looks to steal yet another Manchester United target as Todd Burley sets his eyes on five-time Champions League winner Casemiro. According to Tom Gott and Graham Bailey from 90 Minute Football, Chelsea has been a great admirer of the Brazilian defensive midfielder and would be interested in bringing him to Stamford Bridge. Reports also suggest that the Blues have been looking at Casemiro longer than fellow Premier League club Manchester United has been. The 30-year-old has been a key part of Real Madrid's success in recent years where he has won five Champions Leagues, three Spanish League titles, one Copa del Rey, two UEFA Super Cups, and three FIFA World Club Cups with the Spanish Giants. Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti is desperate to keep the Brazilian midfielder due to the success of his midfield trio but if the Blues were to make an offer Casemiro would be valued at around £60 million. Chelsea is looking at another Manchester United target Frankie de Jong, it is believed the Blues is the favourites now to sign the Dutch international. If De Jong decides to leave Barcelona this summer, the Dutchman will be looking for a club with Champions League football. This is something Chelsea can offer that Manchester United cannot. Chelsea open to Christian Pulisic loan. Christian Pulisic has been linked with a move away from London in the past and his club is reportedly more open to this move now. Throughout last season, Chelsea's forwards struggled to consistently score goals. Christian Pulisic fell into this category and could now be on his way out the door at Stamford Bridge in a bid to revitalise his club career. Along with various other reports, Ben Jacobs expanded on the Americans' future on Wednesday. He claims that the Blues are open to the forward departing on loan this summer, following reports regarding Manchester United's supposed interest. Jacobs has reportedly been told the USMNT manager Greg Bearhalter has advised Pulisic that he should look to depart to get regular game time. He is an automatic starter on the national team but will want to be playing regularly in order to maintain form. Both Manchester United and Newcastle are reportedly interested in the 23-year-old, 
who has struggled to stay healthy and stake his claim to a starting role in Thomas Tuchel's side in recent years. The American is also said to be interested in a move to the Serie A, should the opportunity arise. Juventus have been interested but it is uncertain if they will materialise this interest in the form of a bid, though Pulisic has spoken to Weston McKenney regarding a move. Scottish youngster Billy Gilmore wants to leave Chelsea. Academy graduate Billy Gilmore has fallen down Thomas Tuchel's midfield pecking order causing the 21-year-old to want to find regular football elsewhere with a few Premier League clubs eyeing him up. Last season the Scottish international was sent out on loan to Norwich where he managed to play 28 games for the club but wasn't able to help enough to stop the Canaries from getting relegated. According to Nizar Kinsella from the Evening Standard, Gilmore wants to leave the Blues after not receiving a squad number from the club. It has also been reported that Brighton and Hove Albion are interested in taking the 21-year-old on a permanent deal. Brighton and Chelsea have been in good contact this summer after Mark Cucurella joined the Blues this summer breaking Brighton's record transfer fee whilst Levi Colwell moved down south to join Brighton on a season-long loan. Frank Lampard's Everton has also taken a great interest in Chelsea's young midfielder. During Lampard's time as Chelsea manager, Lampard became a massive fan of Gilmore admiring how he plays. Everton is another side in business with Chelsea right now as the Blues are looking to convince the Toffees for a deal for Anthony Gordon. Chelsea has already had two previous rejected by Everton but is prepared to come back with a third which is expected to be in the range of £50 million. Mark Cucurella opens up about his decision to leave Barcelona. Mark Cucurella has opened up about the hard decision he faced whilst playing for Barcelona. At the age of 14, Marc Cucurella joined Barcelona's academy from Spanish side Espanyol. The Spaniard spent eight more years with the Catalonian side, however, he never made an appearance for their first team. Due to this, in 2020 he decided to move to Getafe where he impressed and secured himself a move to the Premier League after Brighton paid £16 million for him. Then, this summer, one year after signing for the Seagulls, the 24-year-old got bought by Chelsea for a reported fee of £62 million, making him the most expensive left-back in history. Barcelona will be kicking themselves let him leave all those years ago but it seems like the Spaniard isn't too fussed about it. Speaking in his first press conference is a Chelsea player, via Football London, Cucurella spoke about his career path and how he is happy that he left Barcelona. Of course, it's difficult because in my case, I had always stayed in Barcelona, my family is always here. It's difficult to change to another city, another club, and the style is different. I understood I needed to go one step down to play a lot of minutes and play well. I think it was a long time, maybe four or five years, I stayed at maybe not the biggest clubs. But in my mind, I always focused on playing, and maybe one day I would have the opportunity, to sign with a big club. I think maybe one of the best decisions in my life was leaving Barcelona to join maybe smaller teams. They give me opportunities. Maybe if I didn't leave, I would have stayed on the bench for a long time and I never come here.